Cadill are saying that they are about to slash the price of lithium ion phosphate batteries by an astronomical amount, by, by the kind of amount we haven't seen in years. And I mean, this discount is enormous because at the same time they're discounting the price by potentially up to 40%, they're also increasing the energy density by 10%. Now, keep in mind, these are the same battery cells that Tesla use for their energy storage products. And Tesla is the world's largest battery deployment company. I'm talking mega batteries. Cadle and Tesla together, they're gonna to take a massive percentage of the energy storage market with these new batteries over the next 12 months. Cadle have just launched a new lithium ion phosphate battery. The manufacturing cost is 40% lower than their existing lithium ion phosphate batteries, which are some of the cheapest in the industry. What does this mean? What will the price end up being for consumers? What will this, how will this affect electric cars? I'm telling you it'll affect them in a big way because these batteries are not only much, much cheaper, they also have higher energy density than the previous generation batteries. And these aren't just batteries that have been announced and speculated on or talked about. They're actually being shipped to, cons to customers right now. Cadle have already shipped literally gigawatt hours of these batteries. In fact, someone from Cadle that works there has just emailed me to say, we're going, this is all happening right now. Hello, my friends, welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans, you're watching The Electric Viking. Guys, there's some press releases, there's some information here. I got an email about this. There's a, an article on cnepost.com. None of that really tells you what you need to know. To be honest, it doesn't. It's a, In fact, the information being released is kind of confusing. So I've, I'm gonna break it down, You know, basically understand what exactly these batteries are and what the difference is between these and the previous generation and how that will actually affect the cars we buy. Now, keep in mind as well, these, these batteries will go into Tesla vehicles, Tesla EVs that use CATL lithium ion phosphate batteries, and they're gonna be going into Tesla mega packs. So that won't happen within a month, but it will happen next year. CATL have released their new 587 amp hour cells and they're lithium ion phosphate, they're not NMC. Cadle specifically announced the launch of their fifth generation lithium ion phosphate batteries earlier this year, and I did a video on those at the time. But here's some more information. The energy density is 434 watt hours per liter, and that's pretty good in comparison to prismatic cells. It means the energy density is approximately 170 watt hours per kilogram, which is just slightly higher than BYDs at 165 watt hours per kilogram. So not groundbreaking energy density, but the price is gonna be groundbreaking. It already is. I mean, you can already buy them at the price that I'll reveal to you in just a second. First of all, interesting the capacity is 587 amp hours per cell. The format as well matches the lineage of Cadle's 280 amp hour then they changed from 280 amp hour to 314 amp hour lithium ion phosphate. Then they went to 587. All of these are LFP. You can still buy these other cells, by the way, as well. But essentially, this is kind of the iteration that we've been seeing. Cadle's grid storage batteries use lithium ion phosphate exclusively. They don't use NMC. Why? Safety, cycle life, cost advantages, and also they've had zero fire incidents. Cadle have more than a thousand battery storage projects globally, and not one of them has ever caught fire. That's a pretty good record. Here's the thing though, these new batteries will have a 42% cost reduction. Now that will mean these were the cheapest lithium ion phosphate battery cells in the world. And they're actually quite a big, a large format energy storage prismatic cell. So not a cylindrical cell, but a prismatic cell, but they're one of the biggest we've seen so far. Guys, typical EV lithium ion phosphate battery cells are 120 to 200 amp hours, and these are 587. So they're about three times the size of your typical prismatic battery cell. So this means basically the cells are designed for grid scale energy storage, renewable integration, peak shaving, commercial battery storage, utility battery farms, industrial microgrids, not for cars, but I'm hearing there will be cars using them. 
I mean, basically, Cadle are not marketing these for cars, but you certainly can use them for cars. And here's the thing. If the batteries are a lot cheaper, how much cheaper are they going to be? Well, the numbers are pretty crazy. 40 US dollars per kilowatt hour. Currently, lithium ion phosphate prices are at about 55 to 60 US dollars per kilowatt hour. So it just brought the price of batteries down significantly by nearly 40% with this new battery innovation or this new these new cells from Cadel. And that is actually pretty insane. Why is it that they can bring the price down so much? Well, one thing is they are able to produce one cell every two seconds. So their production line is really, really fast. And because the cells are bigger, actually the manufacturing process is simpler. To give you some context, guys, the energy density is actually class leading for energy storage. Energy storage, 434 watt hours per liter. That's extremely high. Previous top tier energy storage batteries, lithium ion phosphate, were between 380 to 400. So this is the highest I've seen for energy storage batteries. And of course, like I said, this will benefit Tesla. They'll be using these in their mega packs, in their, their home power walls. It's gonna be actually a really good for customers because it should bring the price of your power walls down and the energy density of the power walls should increase at the same time. What's the energy density increase? It's about a 10% increase in energy density. So high energy density means fewer containers and that means lower installation cost. All round, energy storage batteries will come down in price significantly over the next 12 months. Here's the thing as well. They're rated for 10,000 plus cycles at 80% capacity, meaning a 30 plus year lifespan for stationary grid usage. 80% capacity after more than 10,000 cycles Cadle is saying, yeah, 30 plus years lifespan means, really, it means it's a different economic situation for a business. If you look at this from a business perspective, you're not going to come in and say, well, these batteries are going to last us for 10 or 15 years. You're going to be looking at it saying they're going to last us more than 30 years. Cadle's production cap capability is massive as well. The facility where they're making them can produce 220,000 cells every single day. At 587 amp hours each, a single cell stores roughly, so that's a very big single cell. Think about 1.88 kilowatt hours, meaning you only need about 30 of these or 35, even 40 to power an EV. So not many batteries would be needed. But in terms of actual output, this means that Cadle can put out 414 megawatt hours of these batteries every day or 150 gigawatt hours annually. And really, if the demand is there, and it will be, at least in the short term, then what Cadle can do is just start up another factory. And I'm sure they can do it very, very quickly, doing the same stuff, same production line. But 150 gigawatt hours, that's, well, that's a lot of batteries. Here are the numbers behind Cadle's energy storage. They're becoming, well, they are the biggest in the world. Cadle's total revenue from energy storage was $51 billion in 2024. Uh, their total energy storage revenue was 57.3 billion RMB. So that's their actual profits. So it's about $10 billion. Growth rate is huge. And batteries, uh, energy storage batteries account for 16% of their total revenue and they're rising fast as a percentage of revenue. That means Cadle's battery, battery storage is now one of the largest grid storage suppliers on earth. And obviously um, that doesn't include Tesla. If you include this, the cells that Cadle is giving to Tesla, they are the largest on the planet by a significant margin versus anyone else. Now, of course, with these new battery cells going to market, um, they will increase their market share. But remember that Cadle are not, not backing this up with doing nothing. They have their new sodium ion, the Naxtra battery, the sodium ion battery. If you're looking for a place to invest your money, well, I've got two ideas here. One, I'm considering investing in the phosphate mine that I did an interview with the owner the other day, and also Cadle. That's probably the two companies that I think have the most opportunity for growth. And I'm not talking about speculative growth, like you know, companies could build robots. We don't really know how good that's gonna be. Um, it's gonna happen, but when will it happen? How much money will they make? What will their competitors be? We know Cadle's market share. We understand that. We understand how much phosphate's needed in lithium ion phosphate batteries, how much phosphate is in the world in the West. Very, 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 very little battery grade phosphate, almost none. So that's two quantities we can understand. These cells, what are they designed for? Well, primarily designed for long duration renewable storage. That means home batteries 
and big batteries. But there's no reason you couldn't use these in an EV as well. The huge capacity and cost reduction targets though are really going after solar and battery farms, wind and battery farms, 24 hour renewable grids, industrial peak load balancing, so factories for example, mega pack competitors, Tesla's mega packs, etc. These cells, though they are a comp they are in competition to Tesla's mega pack. That said though, Tesla uses Cadle cells inside its mega packs as well, but they will rival BYD's ESS cube. Uh, the EVE 320 amp hour container cells, so EVE Energy make batteries for EVs and for energy storage in China. Then there is Hithium 300 to 330 amp hour battery cells for energy storage. Cadle are going to dominate this market. They've already got a big, a big market share, but they're going to take more market share. So guys, let's summarize the actual batteries. They're lithium ion phosphate, large format prismatic energy storage cell, the biggest format energy prismatic storage cell we've ever seen in the market. They have 434 watt hours per liter of energy density, 10% energy density improvement over the previous generation at a cost potentially 30 to 40% cheaper. They're designed for grid scale battery storage. They bring the cost down while, okay, analysts are saying 42%, but I think that might be a little bit exaggerated, but it's a lot. Production, 220,000 per day. One cell every two seconds. Considering how big they are, that's a lot. Failure rate, well, we've never seen any failure rate in any lithium-ion phosphate batteries for energy storage from Cadle ever, in more than a thousand storage projects. Mass deployment is underway. There is already two gigawatt hours that have been shipped within the last few days. What does this mean? Cheaper grid storage, cheaper home batteries, faster renewable adoption, a lower dollars per kilowatt hour for solar and wind. The battery prices, as I've said every year, keep coming down. Batteries keep getting better. Energy density keeps getting better. Because here's the thing. It's not just the price reduction of potentially 40%. It's also the fact that at the same time, they're increasing the energy density by 10%. So really, that's closer to a price, re price reduction of maybe 45, even potentially 50%. What does this mean for Western companies um, and other rivals who sell energy storage batteries? Well, it means that they'll lose some of their market share. But that said, this sector is growing very fast. This news may not seem that big, but actually it's a huge deal. What it means is that Cato's rivals will have to reduce the price of their batteries to compete. Otherwise, suppliers will just simply order from Cato. And why wouldn't you? I mean, they have nearly 40% market share worldwide in the global battery market. So they have to, Eve Energy will have to respond, BYD will have to respond and lower their prices. This is great. This is, a, this is good for all of us, it's good for the planet. It's gonna reduce the cost of solar, it's gonna reduce the cost of um, ultimately, not of solar itself, but solar and battery systems. It's gonna reduce the cost of electricity on a global scale. And it will actually make a really big deal. But I think sodium ion batteries will take over. Give it a few years, give it some um, increased production, and we're going to see sodium batteries come in and undercut the price of these batteries. Thanks for watching.